<sighs> well. This is it. This is it. This is our last time we're ever gonna live in LA. What is up, Sash Squad? We are back with another video, and today, Sash Squad, I uh, just got a haircut. Your boy is back. Today's vlog is bittersweet. This is our last vlog in LA. I cannot believe we're at this moment. We're, we're gonna talk about it much later in the vlog. It's just so crazy that we're about to move across the country to a new state together. We've never done that before, and uh, we're just about to start this journey in Texas. So. I'm super excited. I know y'all are excited. When you guys are seeing this, we'll actually be on the road, headed to Texas. Today we have a lot of things to do. We have to sell some things. We have to pack up the entire place. We have a lot of things to do and I'm just sitting here vlogging, so I should probably bust that move. Yo, let me give you guys a COVID update. I just first wanna say thank you to everyone who reached out to me in the comments, who DM'd me, who called, who texted. Make sure that Savannah and I uh, were okay. I'm doing great. I feel 20,000 million trillion times better than I did a few weeks ago. If you didn't watch the video, we retested again weeks, a couple weeks later and I came back negative. Now, some of those remedies that y'all told me did not work for me. The black, charred, orange thingy. Doctors say that people who use that probably had majority of their taste back already i don't have majority of my taste back so but i am at a point and this is a big update i can like smell like if i put my nose to it and sniff i can smell so and i feel like once my smell starts to come back my taste will follow right after. Today, we are actually about to go get another COVID test just because we're about to travel and we just wanna make sure, Savannah, make sure that she's still healthy and she's doing good. Right now, before I go home though, I do have to go run an errand for y'all ear. Crew necks are almost sold out. I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> Unexpected bad news. Um, I'm not allowed to try not to let it get to me, but our shipping container, you pack the stuff and they ship it to your state for you. We were told that the pod that we ordered would fit all of our stuff. We, Savannah talked to like two different people. We just got a call saying that the stuff will not fit anymore. So now I'm gonna go inside and try to bring some peace to the situation. I was surprised Savannah with some Starbucks. Okay, thank you so, so much for your patience and I'm fine for the wait. Ship it as soon as we load it or do you guys like put it in storage until we give you like an exact address? Yeah, this is Savannah Alexander. We're moving from Los Angeles to- When are you moving or when would you be needing the box? Tomorrow. All right, y'all, so we had like a little panic. Guess what, y'all? We back in business. How do you feel, baby? Baby, I'm trying to look up my head, but the, where we're going right now. Okay, well, I, we we feel good. Oh gosh, you really stressing me out right now. You trying to vlog. I'm just walking to the car and there's a camera in my well, hand. I don't want to be interviewed right now. Just got in trouble on live camera. Y'all, here's my thing with moving. If it's not stressful, something ain't right. Did you zoom that in? Did I? No. But how are you doing? This is. Uh, I left my egg bites and my coffee at home. Sasquatch ain't do nothing to you. I am nice. I prayed on the way to you that you would have some peace today. Well, maybe it didn't answer yet. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing is we have to pack up everything. Okay, and we will. We're gonna do that today. Okay. Okay. I like your haircut. Thank you. We ain't even talked enough. <laughs> this for the COVID test. Yeah. You guys have appointment? Yep. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cough three times. Okay. And then you're gonna swap five seconds east side of your cheek and then five seconds in the back by your tonsil. Okay. So just give us 24 to 48 hours and we'll give you a phone call or email. Okay, awesome. perfect. All right guys, so we just got to U-Haul where we need to get, basically we need to get like boxes for our TVs. We need to get stuff for our mattress to cover it and then also locks. So we just have to go in and grab a few things. I'm feeling better because I ate and I'm drinking my coffee, but I just think moving is so stressful and I need to try to not get stressed because 
I was listening to a podcast the other day and I think it was Christine Kane. She said like, if you can't change the situation, change your attitude. And I just feel like that's so good because hey, there's nothing I can do to change what's going on right now. So I just need to have a better mindset and I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be great. I'm just here for support. That's the other thing. Like I love that he is always very peaceful and he doesn't get worked up. Like it's a really great thing that balances us out. But sometimes I'm like, I just want him to get upset with me. I can't do it. But it's good that you don't, but like, do you, can you guys relate? Like if I'm upset, if I'm crying or if I'm like stressed, like I want you to be stressed too. Savannah wants me to cry with her. Because if he's not stressed, then I'm like, do you like, hello? Like, do you know what's going on? But he does. He's just very cool, calm and collected, which is really good. I, I admire that about you, baby. Me on the other hand, I'm like, no. Nah. Okay, so Josh convinced me to keep the TV box flying out of our trunk and we don't have a bungee cord. People in LA already get upset if you drive slow, so now they're gonna be extra upset because we're going like 10 miles per hour in a 40. I don't think you have to go that slow. I say you just step on it. I step on it and then this thing gonna be out there. Our trunk is open. So hopefully we make it home with our TV box. That's literally, I feel like that's all we've accomplished today. We have to pack up our entire place, but the good news is, that is not all we accomplished today. Guys, lately Savannah's been negative, Nancy. No, I haven't. Our TV will be protected. Look at that, y'all. We made it. Good job, baby. Didn't think y'all, didn't think I would. You didn't think I would. Got it. Another one of my concerns is the fact that you have to drive a 30 foot truck and trailer. Have you ever done that in your life? Uh, why is that another your concern? What if you crash it? Y'all, I said she was being negative, Nancy. And then she's gonna say no. She's just proving herself. Right now we're actually, our TV is on the ground. Never seen that before. But we are selling this entertainment center. We've been selling things, y'all, out the wazoo. I have never seen you in Uggs a day in my life. Guys, I might wear these on the road trip. I just decided this moment now because they're so comfortable. I don't really care if Uggs aren't cute. Like, I like them. Uggs aren't cute? I don't know. Uggs I have Uggs, but why nobody tell me they're not cute? Uggs went out of style, but now they're back. No, Uggs are definitely back. I, I, I got no, some baby, Uggs. Baby, Uggs are you back. You allowed me to get the Uggs. No, Uggs. Like, because these are super old. These are like, I had these since back when Uggs were like in style. Also, if you've been wearing Uggs all along, I have been too. You good? I don't know. Alright. Ah! move you to almost trying to uh, provoke uh, some form of, of confrontation here. Um, the crowd is thinning out a little bit and uh, behind me we can see some people uh, who are taking down barriers. Hey guys, I don't know if you can feel anything in this vlog, any tension or anything between my wife and I, but there's no tension. And Savannah and I, we have we've been having little deboggles, little debogles. time. You said debog. It's a debacle. It's a debacle. It is not a debacle. Wait, can you can you find my phone? Because I don't know if he's here to pick up the parcels and I can't find my phone. <sighs> okay. Oh, that is my favorite oh, thing. Here. When Savannah asked me to go look for something and she didn't look at all, like she didn't. It was right in front of her face the whole time. Does that happen to y'all? Because it's happening to me constantly every single day. Can I get a paper towel? I don't have one. Where'd you get that one from? This is mine. Here. Lord, I love you. Um, Where's your camera? Behind you. Oh, what up? Um, Y'all, so this is where my Xbox is going. It's going right in there, right next to the shoes. I'm going to cushion it up so it won't be, you know... What? You're, so I just want you to say something. You're just using a whole suitcase for that? No, I have three pairs of shoes right here as well. How many pairs of shoes are you bringing? Are you bringing your sandals? Why? Like, do y'all, like, is that necessary? Just put the Xbox in the shipping container and no. let it go. God forbid somebody want to break into the shipping container. Okay, I think we should be a little bit more concerned about everything else that we have in there. Well, I'm concerned about the Xbox. Here's another thing. I am not a gamer. If I was a gamer and like doing all, like then, it would be very extreme, but I don't even play the game as much no, for her to- No, I actually know, if, if you were a gamer and you were like streaming and this was your daily thing, I would be more normal. Stan, there's like, people who have cases and things for their Xbox I and like- I know so many people are on my side. I wanna play cause you love it and it's fun, but it's not necessary. I just gotta do my dance because- It's not necessary, say it's not necessary. It, baby. Say it's not necessary. Nothing's not necessary. Baby. You bring in this big old Drake jacket isn't necessary. That's like cold, for the cold. Say it's not necessary. What, name one thing I'm bringing that is not necessary. I can't, I can. What? I can't think of it off top. Exactly, I can name one thing off the top of my head that is not necessary and that is your Xbox. You don't need it 
to walk out of the house. You don't need, you, like, I need that coat or I'm going to be cold. Baby, I'm not say saying it's not necessary. For, you can bring it if you say it's not necessary. For my mental health, it's necessary. No, it's not. G yes, it is. No. no. Say it's not necessary. I'm not saying that. Yeah, because then you can bring it. <laughs> then I can bring it if I yeah, say Yeah, I'll let you bring it if you admit. All right, it's not necessary. But are you saying that out of, no, see, Josh says this. He's just saying that just to say it. Yeah, obviously I'm saying it just to say it at this point, <laughs> yes. There's nights where I just want to be, I'm going to be chilling and we're not going to be doing nothing. You can read a book. Speaking of books, you guys, I started this and this is a great book. Well, this is it. This is our last time we're ever going to live in LA. Is that true? I guess. I mean, I guess we can't say that because we never know what the heck is going to happen with our life. But for right now, we out of here. See you later. We have so many memories. We I Like our life is was. or was LA. Yeah, like we met here, we got married, like everything. LA is more my life than like Portland even now, like where yeah. I'm from. Just because I've been here for so long and I feel like the years that I've been in LA have been such like crucial years of my life. I know. And I've like matured and became like, I literally moved here when I was 18 and I was about to be 25. We both moved here mm -hmm. and then we met. I know. And then we got married. Yeah. And now we're just together forever. I mean, but besides that, like we, you as a person. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, this is where your career started. You going on tour and all those things. I mean, when I first moved here, I loved LA. Like, I thought it was so everything. But we've been ready for a while. For you, I feel like it's not as crazy because you've like moved around a lot and experienced other states. But it's still crazy because this is like huge for us together now. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a, a really big step in just like a faith leap in our marriage. And I think it's just going to be really special. Yeah. Young ones come crushing down. Yeah, you and I, yeah, you and I Still got the vibe